Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay Will. So I got a nice unboxing for you again. This is the Moto G 3rd Gen. I did a custom uh, um, layout or colors that I think I would like. So uh, techie stuff, 5 inch display, um, Corning Gorilla Glass 3, quad core processor, Snapdragon uh, 410 in here. I got the 8 gig version with 1 gig of RAM. There's also a 16 and 2. This has a 13 megapixel camera on the back with dual LED tone flash. It is just gorgeous. I tell you, I've already been taking pictures. It is beautiful. And a 5 megapixel on the front. So look at the wrist. Starts the camera, as you can see. Uh, but I went in and I had to set this up. It's not a lengthy setup, but it is a setup, so I didn't want to bore you with that. But just wanted to get directly to the phone. So I chose the Cabernet and Gold or Champagne. Um, and I've got the white front. Uh, these backs do come off. Looking around the device though, you've got a textured power button just like the Nexus 6. I'm starting to think this is just a baby plastic version of the Nexus 6. Uh, and it is, it feels great in the hand too. Uh, you got your power button, a textured, a textured power button, volume rocker, headphone jack and mic up top, nothing along this side, charge and sync right there. And you've got your 13 megapixel with dual tone LED flash. This camera is great. Popping the back off, which because you can change these shells, so I actually am going to get more shells. Um, you've got uh, SIM card here and SD card there. Make sure you guys have the right model. If you're not buying directly from Motorola and you think you're getting a good deal, make sure you have the right model for LTE in the U.S., which is actually the 1540. There's several versions. It's the XT1540. That is the LTE for the U.S. So be sure that you don't buy the 1541 model or the 1548 model. Those will not work with LTE. Well, maybe the the 15 um the 1584 uh, model, it, it probably will work with LTE, but the official um, US model appears to be 1540. So nonetheless, this is the one gig, um, eight gig model. Out of the box here, you get half the storage. I haven't installed anything. So you get four gigs of storage. I think that's pretty fair, but uh, supposedly coming up in the future, when you, we do get Android M, you'll be able to move everything to the SD card. So, you know, it's up to you. The, the one gig, two gig with a stock phone like this is, you know, it's good. And you can go into, if you think you want to speed it up for yourself, you just go into the um, um, developer settings and then you can turn on, you know, developer mode. So that's up to you. I would suggest that you do that if, that, if, if you don't think it's running fast enough. Uh, but this should be pretty nice, man. Um, it does not have a 5 gigahertz band for Wi-Fi. I knew that going in. Uh, but... Nonetheless, a fast fluid. Let's take a look at the camera here. The camera interface, uh, you actually have control, focus, and exposure. That's the setting that they give you. And then uh, you can record in 1080p HD or slow motion 720p. I think that's that's pretty nice. And your camera lens here, it comes it comes on 9.7, which is 16.9 for photos. I put it to 13 megapixel. That's pretty cool. You have um, auto flash on and off. And you have auto HDR. So I think having auto HDR is is, is definitely um, uh, the way to go because your photos will be really really nice. I also would suggest you install the Google camera. Uh, and take off the Motorola camera so you can do touch to focus just by default, you know. Because uh, I was taking some photos and I was catching it too fast. And they weren't blurry, but I had I turned on the focus and it just cleared right up and it's flawless. So here's an unboxing for the Moto G. First impressions, guys, this back has nice texture. And it feels like the back on my stylo from this case that I bought. Um, this is a really nice phone. Uh, you can put any color you want. I will be getting some, some uh, a blue skin as well and a white skin. I'm pretty excited about that. This is very nice. I can't stress it enough. Uh, you can actually get an en en engraved down here, but you're going to just be engraving your case. So, you know, be mindful of that. If you wanted to engrave your the one that comes with it, go ahead and do it because it's only five bucks. And then you can just buy you another case if you decide to sell it later. Uh, I, I should have gotten mine engraved. It's, I <laughs> that's why I'm thinking about that. I didn't think about it at first. I was like, man, I should have, I should have got it engraved. But uh, not really anything on here. Just an FM radio, and you do get modal assist, uh, which is super sweet. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, you do, you have the twist to turn on the camera, twist your wrist, 
thumbs on the camera. Overall, though, I mean, I'm super excited. This is a really nice phone. It feels really nice in the hand. More importantly, it's waterproof. IPX7, one meter for 30 minutes underwater. That is fantastic. How many budget devices or how many phones, not even just budget devices, how many phones are offering that? Not very many. Battery in here is 2470 and that should be more than enough to push you through a day or two, or maybe even three. Even the front camera has, the five megapixel has auto HDR, so that's gonna be really nice for your, your selfies, or just when you need to get a group shot of your family, something like that. Uh, but uh, the rear camera, panorama, auto HDR, touch to focus, it's it's all there, man. I mean, um, let me show you here. It's all there. This is what it looks like to control the focus. Let me see if I can get a picture of, let's see here. And it has autofocus, but I mean, it is just, this is how you, you grab the little sidebar there and you can control the brightness. You can get it way down like that, but you can get it to brighten it all the way up. Really nice camera. I'm pretty excited. This camera is really nice. Um, no complaints. I'm glad that they um, are offering the touch to focus now, uh, but I will still install the Google camera just to give it a test to see how it is. But very fluid, very fast. This is the Moto G third gen uh, Cabernet Champagne in white. See you guys in the next video. Take care.